Yo, all right, man. I'm going to just go ahead and jump back into it. It is football season. I only got a little bit of time to go ahead and do this video, so I'm going to just jump into it really, really, really fast. So we already know Josh Gordon is a plan. Um, uh, that's cool. I feel like my thoughts on that is just basically, you know, you need to get his mind right, you need to get his body right. I feel like football is a really demanding sport, you know what I'm saying, a sport that he probably was when he was going through the pain, really relied on smoking the marijuana or doing whatever he needed to do. Um, you know what I'm saying? To kind of relax themselves and focus on to the next game, which I feel like, you know what, for JG, that smoking weed probably is better for him. Um, and the only reason to say that is because some players are reactive more so than proactive. Maybe for football, for him, it was just so easy and gifted that he was more so reactive. I'm not saying that he didn't know what he was doing, but you could react a little bit better um, when it just seems like your perception of time is a little bit slowed down and it's like a piece, you know what I'm saying? But no excuses. We're just going to keep it moving. Um, also, Tony Callaway, man, I feel like, honestly, um, that was a whole nother, I'm trying not to look too big into it, um, you know what I mean, he had a reason, he told exactly why, he cooperated, he didn't do anything, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't co um, combative, so you feel, I, I really don't feel like there was no issue with any anything that had happened from the TMZ video, um, they're saying he's going to play, and I mean, you know this is this is a time to play. You know what I mean. He just got in trouble. You need to see what you know. what I'm saying you getting yourself into before you go ahead and make a decision. Obviously, he was patient, patient with JG. You know what I'm saying. So now you know what I mean with, with Callaway. Um, you definitely want to see if we can do the same thing. But you also want at the same time have that balance. Um, you know what I mean. You want to be stern enough to make sure that. Um, you know, this isn't just an ongoing thing between the team that anybody could just do anything like that. But he didn't get any charges or anything like that. So, you know, he's good. You know, and people carry guns. You know what I'm saying? It's one of the commandments. So it's not like he was going around, riding around. I doubt he was going around looking for some beef or something like that. So I don't really feel like it was a big, big deal. You feel me? But um, we're going to go ahead and move on to Corey Coleman, who um, when we drafted, I like. Um, now that when he's not on a team, uh, you know, he's just another player now. It's, you know, us against the world right now. So, uh, honestly, I'm going to talk bad about him. I usually don't like to talk bad about our players, but um, he never stayed hurt, man. He was injury prone like a mug. Like, everything, you know what I'm saying? I was, I had high hopes thinking, like, you know, he could translate his uh, scoring ability from college to the NFL. Um and, you know, just those drops alone, you know what I'm saying? Just really, because that's what separates you from the greats, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't like, you know, these passes. I, it, although it was Kaiser throwing in the ball, man. He really kind of get, he kind of got effed over a little bit. But, I mean, who knows what we saw in the training camp, you know what I'm saying? So that's probably what they had to go ahead and do, had to make a decision on that, based off of, upon that alone. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I mean, I do wish him the best uh, going on for with his career. And, you know, wherever he lands right now, he's with the Bills. So, um, you know, that's, like I said, he just, he was, he was a good, I wanted to root for him because he was a cancer, but, um, you know, as far as like birthday months, but, um, he just didn't pull it over. Uh, and then Baker, um, let's talk about that. We got the first preseason tonight. We versus the Giants tonight. Um, I want to go ahead and say this, like, I'm super excited to see Baker today. This is the only time that I really want to see Baker this year, though. I only want to see him during preseason, and he should not be playing during any type of um, regular season. And the reason why I say that is, like, actually, y'all, I think Baker's third string, but he just, for us, for the media that be fucking asking questions all the fucking time, um, you know, you got to tell them that uh, he's second string so they can be like, well, why did you spend the first one, number one pick on um, a – uh, uh, no, uh, number one pick, and he's the third string quarterback, and you guys have no confidence. Like, why did you do? Like, come on, man, it's it's a process, man. Trust the process. I trust the process, man. Even if we go one and four through this year, like there's like Hugh Jackson is not on the hot seat. I feel like Hugh Jackson isn't on the hot seat until year five. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand like football is a it's it's a real short season, sixteen games. So, like, it looks like you really on a short seat, but you got to give him at least, like, a good golden five-year plan. Now, if we go deep in the playoffs within his five years, eventually, you know what I'm saying, even going to the Super Bowl, ain't no fucking way that Hugh Jackson should be on the hot seat. I like him. I feel like he's like that cool-ass uncle, you know what I'm saying, that just, you know, you could talk to. He's going to be honest. He's going to be good with you. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be patient, but at the same time, he's going to say the real. You know what I mean? He ain't going to... He ain't going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? He going to tell you the real. And I don't really feel like that. So I feel like they, like I said, Baker's third string. I'm excited to see Ty Taylor today. Um, or Ty Taylor for the season, actually. Uh, I really think that, like, this is going to be a different 
Like, it's so crazy to say that we actually got a starting quarterback. Like, I like the Josh McCown, but, you know, he was also that, like, journeyman quarterback also. I, I mean, Ty is a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? He just didn't get no love, but at least, I mean, I guess he's the same. But at the same time, he's younger, you know what I'm saying, than what, what McCown was. And um, and he's he, he is very knowledgeable. So I think that's what it come down to, just, you know, his knowledge of the game. Um, his way, ability to be a leader as far as, like, showing what a leader is and just the way that he kind of um, took this team over, you know what I mean, and embraced, uh, you know, out of his own pocket, you know what I'm saying, setting up in, in just his own time, his own people, you know what I mean, setting up these little trips and stuff for the receivers to meet up and the tight ends to meet up, you know what I'm saying, to, um, you know what I mean, basically work on their stuff, man. And that, that just shows what type of dude that – that he is, and that just shows that he really wants to win now. You know what I'm saying? He has that win now mentality, which we fucking need. Um, but uh, I expect last thing I expect the Browns to lead the league in rushing, man. I mean, we got fucking three quality ass running backs. You got Duke. You feel me? You got Carlos. You got Los High, and you got Nick Chubb. The Browns should lead the lead, and you got Ty, who's a scrambler, man. We should lead the lead in rushing this year, man, seriously. And then Callaway going to do some little flanker receiver shit. Like, come on, bro. Like, this is it's going to be crazy. Like, we're going to be so nasty because that's NFC, that's AFC North football. It's ground and pound, baby. Ground and pound. That's going to be our bread and butter this year. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be so cold. Like, y'all thought y'all see what Le'Veon Bell was. Man, oh, my gosh. You remember D'Angelo Hall when he was going crazy them year? Man, that's what's going to be Nick Chubb. And fucking Carlos Hyde gonna do. They gonna be fucking doing what D'Angelo Hall was doing. Oh my gosh, dog. I'm so excited this year, man. I just wish, man, all oh, football guys, please keep our guys, man. Keep our guys. Oh, so tight. Oh, so tight. All right, y'all, man. I'm about to get out of here. This game about to start in a little bit. 